What? Are we live? Bummer. You're tuned to station KRMY. Crummy news. And I'm Ted Downer. Top story for today is that high school students all over the country are preparing to take standardized tests for college admission. We're covering the big three. The SAT, the ACT, and the SAT subject test. Let's go to Gavin McEgo, live on the street with two students on the eve of one of these important exams. This is Gavin McEgo with Crummy News, live on the street. Why are you two out in the first place? Shouldn't you be studying? Well, I've taken a lot of practice tests. And I've been doing a lot of reading. It's been shown that good readers make good test takers, even in math. My point exactly. Read, read, read. So what exactly will you two be taking? I'm taking the SAT for the second time. I took it the first time in the spring of my junior year, but I wanted to try to raise my score. Of course, I had to pay the fees again, but it's worth it. Of course you had to pay the fees again. That's right. I said that. I'll be conducting the interview, thank you. Now tell us briefly about the SAT. It's a reasoning test. It's split in three sections. Let's see, there's math, writing, and... Reading, go on. It measures your problem-solving skills, and it has an essay portion. What about you? Speak up! I'm taking a couple of SAT subject tests. They used to be called the SAT-2. That's right. Some of the more selective colleges require these exams. The colleges I'm applying to require two exams. That's what I meant. Most selective colleges require two of these exams. And they're offered in some 20 subject areas. But your college might actually specify which ones you have to take. I'm taking Spanish and Physics. Good for you. Back to you, Ted. Gavin, what about the ACT? Don't most colleges accept that as well as the SAT? Right you are, Ted. As I understand it, the ACT is linked more to what you learned in high school. It has four sections. English, math, reading comprehension, and science. Plus an optional essay. So it's a matter of personal preference, I guess. I took both to see which one I did best on. You can sign up for them on the web and decide afterwards which scores to send to colleges. Gavin, I'd like to direct a question. I know our viewers here at Crummy News want to know. What if you two tank on the exams? It's a possibility. Look, one test doesn't make or break your college application. Some schools look at your accomplishments just as much as your scores. And some people just don't test well. Yeah, and it's not like the SAT or the ACT is a measure of my worth as a person. I'm not going to panic here. Yeah, that's our motto here at Crummy News. Don't panic. This is Ted Downer reminding you to be guarded and wary at all times.